Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in direct form one structure using Laplace transform. The first problem is to realize the transfer function of the given system using direct form one method. Here the system is described by its transfer function h of s. We are going to realize the system using direct form one method. In the solution part, the first step is to divide the numerator and denominator with the highest power of s. In the given transfer function, the highest power of s is s to the power 2. Correct? So, we are going to divide the given transfer function by s power 2. So, in this step, we can write h of s which is defined as the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output signal to the Laplace transform of the input signal. Simply, h of s is equal to y of s by x of s. That is equal to each term of the numerator and denominator can be divided by the highest power of s here. So, s squared by s squared plus 4s by s squared plus 1 by s squared divided by s squared by s squared plus 2s by s squared plus 3 by s squared. Then we can get the value like this y of s by x of s is equal to 1 plus 4 by s plus 1 by s squared divided by 1 plus 2 by s plus 3 by s squared. This is the first step in direct form 1 method. So after getting that we have to cross multiply the values the denominators ok so here we can perform the cross multiplication so we can get y of s multiplied with 1 plus 2 by s plus 3 by s square is equal to x of s multiplied with 1 plus 4 by s plus 1 by s square then we have to multiply this y of s inside this bracket similarly multiply this x of s inside this bracket then we can get the expression like this y of s plus 2 y of s by s plus 3 y of s by s squared is equal to x of s plus 4 x of s by s plus x of s by s squared. So after getting this expression the next step is to consider the input side as w of s. So here input side is x of s plus 4 x of s by s plus x of s by s squared. We can consider this side is equal to w of s. Consider this as the first equation. So after that we have to substitute this w of s in this expression. Then we can get y of s plus 2 y of s by s plus 3 y of s by s squared is equal to w of s. In the next step, we have to keep this y of s alone and move all other terms to this right hand side. Because the y of s is the actual output of the system. So we have to keep this output signal as such and move other terms to the right hand side. So y of s is equal to w of s minus 2 y of s by s minus 3 y of s by s squared. Consider this as the second equation. So after getting this first and second equations, we are going to draw the direct form 1 method for this system. Now we are going to draw the direct form 1 realization for these two equations. For the first equation, x of s is the input, w of s is the output. So here we can start with this x of s. In this left hand side we have to add 3 terms. x of s plus 4 x of s by s plus x of s by s squared. In order to get x of s by s we have to give this x of s to this 1 by s block. Then we can get x of s by s here that is multiplied with 4. So multiplier can be represented like this triangle symbol. So we can get 4 multiplied with x of s by s that is the output at this point. Okay. The next one is x of s is by s squared. So that can be obtained 
by giving this x of s by s to another 1 by s block. So, at this point we can get x of s by s square. That can be given to the multiplier 1 because nothing is here, uh, here. So, we can assume there is 1. Okay. So, 1. Then we can get x of s by s square. So, we are going to add all these values together. Here it is directly we can give x of s. All together to get w of s. Okay. So, first equation is over by drawn this circuit. Okay. So, next second one. Here the output is y of s. This y of s can be obtained by using this expression w of s minus 2 y of s by s minus 3 y of s by s square. So, here we have to get this y of s by s by giving this y of s to this 1 by s block. Then we can get y of s by s. That is multiplied with minus 2. So, here the gain is minus 2. Okay. So, this is the multiplier circuit. So, we are going to multiply this y of s by s with minus 2 value. Then we can get this term. After that, we have to get one more term like this minus 3 y of s by s square. For that, we have to give the output of this 1 by s to the another 1 by s block. So, at this point, its value is y of s by s square. So, we are going to give this value to this multiplier which is having the value minus 3. So, minus 3 y of s by s square. Next, we are going to add all these values. Okay. W of s minus 2 y of s by s minus 3 y of s by s square together to get y of s. So, this is the direct form 1 realization for the given transfer function. The next problem is to realize the given system using direct form 1 structure. So, here the system is given in terms of differential equation. d squared y of t by dt squared plus 5 dy of t by dt plus 4 y of t is equal to dx of t by dt. In the solution part, the first step is to take the Laplace transform on both the sides. So, here Laplace transform of d squared y of t by dt squared plus 5 Lap Laplace transform of dy of t by dt plus 4 Laplace transform of y of t is equal to Laplace transform of dx of t by dt. That is the first step. As we know that the Laplace transform of d squared y of t by dt squared is equal to s squared into y of s plus 5 dy of t by dt means s into y of s plus 4 this one is y of s is equal to Laplace transform of dx of t by dt is s into x of s. So in the next step we are going to divide both the sides by the highest power of s. So, in this expression, the highest power of S is what? S power 2. So, we are going to divide all the terms with S squared. Then we can get the value as Y of S plus 5 Y of S by S plus 4 Y of S by S squared is equal to X of S by S. So, in the next step, we are going to keep this y of s and shift all the terms to this right hand side. Okay, because the y of s is the actual output of the system. Correct? So, we have to keep this y of s here and move all other terms to this right hand side. Now, we can get y of s is equal to x of s by s minus 5 y of s by s minus 4 y of s by s square. Okay. It is very simple problem. So, this is the answer also. For this, we are going to draw the direct form 1. So, here x of s is the actual input signal given here. That is processed like this. That is x of s by s. So, we are going to give this x of s to this 1 by s block. So, we can get the value here as x of s by s. Okay. So, there is no value in this one. We can consider its gain is 1. So, we can get the answer as 
x of s by s that is given to this summer okay so next we are having another two terms minus 5 y of s by 5 s minus 4 y of s by s squared so this two are in terms of y of s that is the output side so we have to take the output here y of s okay from this y of s we have to get the first term here it is y of s by s that is multiplied with minus 5 then we can get at this point we can get minus 5 y of s by s that is this term correct then we have to obtain y of s by s square for that we have to give this output to this another 1 by 5 sorry it is not 5 it is s 1 by s block okay so here we so here we can get y of s by s square okay so that is multiplied with minus 4 so at this point we can get minus 4 y of s by s square okay so all these three terms are added together to give the actual output so this is the direct form one realization for the given differential equations